You can study in the morning, you can study at night. You can study outside by a campfire light. You can study with the rabbi. Well, the Jewish holidays are over. For now. Thank goodness. These were not easy holidays for me. Um, I received uh, quite a bit of ridicule before and during and after the holidays about some of what I shared this year, some of what I shared last year. It seems that there was a tremendous amount of discomfort about me discomforting people. And it forced me to think about what kind of rabbi do I want to be? For years, I told myself and others that if I could just touch one person's heart, if I could just inspire one person's spirit, then that would be enough. I think I've decided that isn't enough. Because the truth is, is that I didn't need to become a rabbi to do that. Anybody can touch another person's heart. Anybody can inspire their spirit. Perhaps I've spent a little more time thinking about how to do that than other people, but being a rabbi doesn't make me uniquely qualified to inspire. But being a rabbi does come, I think, with a set of responsibilities that other people don't have. I think that being a member of the clergy, being not the voice of God, but, but someone who perhaps listens more closely to the voice of God, demands that I speak out. When I hear and see and experience things in our world that aren't reflective of that voice, it means that I have to be able to have a prophetic call. Not that I'm a prophet, but that I can speak out when I see injustice. That I can call people out when I see hatred. It's much easier to just say things that will make everyone happy. And there's value in that. I understand that in people's lives, we are all so torn and, and, and tattered from just the world in which we live, that wanting to find a place, a sacred space, a synagogue maybe, a Jewish community where we can feel at peace is important and valuable. And I respect and, and I value that. I also think, though, that tochecha, that rebuke, is an important part of creating a sacred space. And I think that it's one of my responsibilities as a rabbi not only to create a safe space, but to create a challenging space. To be a person that listens intently, tries to understand, and then pushes back and challenges and allows others to challenge me, to push back at me. It's not enough for me anymore to just inspire people. I want to challenge people. When I see injustice in the world, I want to call it out. When I see hatred, when I see anger, when I see judgment, I want to call that out. I want to be the rabbi that stands up for what he believes in and hopefully inspires other, others not just to feel good, but also to believe in that, to also hear that prophetic call, to also want to change the world. I was speaking with a number of rabbis last week about some of my struggles, and they also said to me that you've touched people's lives, that you have a unique opportunity to be engaged in their life cycle events, and yes, that's all true. And the Jewish people Israel, religion in general, our country, this world needs us to stand up and do more than just celebrate life cycle events. It needs us to stand up and yell from the top of our voices about what's right and what's just and what's godly. That's the kind of rabbi I want to be. And that's going to ruffle people's feathers. I need to learn how to balance creating safe space with creating challenging space. I need to figure out how to be the wise rabbi that listens, pauses, reflects, honors, while also being the rabbi that says this is not okay, that is not just, that is not righteous, and we as Jews have an obligation to stand up and tikkun olam and repair our world. That's the kind of rabbi that I want to be. Talking Torah.